What's good? It's your boy Jose Hustle. You tuned in to Jose Hustle TV Season 2. Now, didn't I tell y'all I was going to turn it up for Season 2? Am I correct? Okay, yeah, I'm correct. See, I first gave y'all What's Shaking in the Streets Part 1. Then I gave y'all What's Shaking in the Streets Part 2. But you know what? Today we're going to turn the table. We're going to flip the script. What's not Shaking in the Streets Part 1. So do me a favor. Sit back, relax, listen, and enjoy yourself. Why you tuning in the Jose Hustle TV? Man, I look, ladies, I know y'all gonna be a little mad at me at this first little topic and the first little thing I'm about to shoot at y'all. But look, y'all know y'all bring this upon yourself. Look, the first thing that's not second in the streets, these helicopter hairdos. Yeah, y'all know them two feet tall ass hairdos that they exceed the screen when you take a picture. Two feet tall ass hairdos with about two, three, four pounds of weave all glued and tied and stitched in your head. All that old bullshit. Y'all know that's not shaking in the street. I'm telling you, you can't even go to sleep right with all that old hair. I'm just telling you, you walking with the Eiffel Tower on top of your head and shit. You got the damn Statue of Liberty. You got you got the Sears Tower. You, I'm talking about you been down here. Uh, to get some, you hitting about three, four niggas in the face. Y'all know that's not what's shaking in the streets. If you're gonna do weave, keep it at a moderate level. Yeah, you might have spent six dollars. That don't mean you gotta use all the weave that come in the pack. Come on now, y'all know that's not shaking in the streets. You know, I, I bet I went home this weekend, so I saw the shit in Nashville. But look, y'all know that's not shaking in the streets. I know my ladies can do better than all y'all sexy ladies out there. I know y'all can, you know, tighten it up for the Jose or something. Come on now, y'all y'all know y'all gotta get right. But look, I'm gonna lay up off y'all. I got some more for y'all on another episode. The second thing that's not shaking in the streets right about now. You know, I, you know, I get a lot of ads on Facebook. You know, I get a lot of messages, people shooting emails and stuff. Thing that's not shaking in the streets, misleading and fake profile pictures. That will fuck you up. Trust me. It's really not, this men really don't have this issue, but it's the women that get cause the most problems. Y'all know y'all be doctoring up all them damn photos. This one girl might look good. She might be light skinned, might have clear skin, no, no, no pimples, no bumps, no blemishes, or nothing. On the profile picture and on a couple other pictures on her page that's doctored up. When you see this girl in person, you're gonna be like, what the fuck? You're gonna be like, whoa! This is not the person I saw on the profile, but this is not, yeah, this might be your name, but this is not you. What what happened? That's what's going, like, come on, just keep it all the way real. Just keep it all the way real. You For one, you're going to be upset, you know what I'm saying, when the guy be like, hold on, mm -mm, mm, no, this, this is not you. Just keep it real. A nigga like that more than you, doctor, putting all kinds of light angle flashes and, and your blemish touch-ups and all, man, come on, keep, look. Look, just keep it, cause with niggas, it's just straight, straight cut. Nigga, take a, a, a car, and dog, take my picture. It's what you see. You see what you get. You know what I'm saying? Now, like a nigga gonna do all that doctor, and if he do that, it, mm, <laughs> okay, you might have some problems on your hand. He might not like you. But, but, but on the other hand, ladies, come on now with all these doctor photos and shit, stolen photos. Yeah, I have a problem with that. Somebody made a fake. Uh, Facebook profile on me. Do not add that shit, y'all know. Some bullshit, y'all you know I mean. We're not gonna even discuss that. The college kids, they got them niggas too. Shouts out to the college kids and D Goods. But look, be on the lookout. The fake ass profile pictures and, and dog it up photos. It's not what's shaking in the streets right now. It's just not. It's either is it you or not. Don't lie, don't trick, don't deceit. Either I'd rather for you to wear makeup while I'm with you than you do all this bullshit and you not wear nothing when I see you. Not what's shaking in the streets, people. Not what's shaking in the streets. And the third and final topic, which is not shaking in the streets. This has not been shaking in the streets since the beginning of time, so y'all might know what it is. Hate. Right about now, it's a lot of hate going on. It's a lot of hate. You know, I haven't accomplished anything yet. Nothing of value. I haven't accomplished nothing. Y'all keep my name in your mouth more than you keep your name in your own girl's mouth. But look, I haven't accomplished nothing yet. So why is there so much hate? Why do you hate Jose Hustle so much? Why is there so many diss videos? Why is there so much disrespect? Why is there negative comments? Like, I don't know, but I know one thing, it's not shaking in the streets right now. You know what I'm saying? We got people, man, fuck Jose Hustle, fuck them shirts, them shirts bullshit. He not, these are the same people who asked Jose Hustle for a shirt, but when Jose Hustle told him he don't get them free, so what make you think you gonna get them free? Guess what? Now they wanna hate. They wanted to be down, but they couldn't pay the fee to be down, but now they wanna hate. You know what I'm saying? It comes with the territory. I'm not mad at you. You keep doing your thing, I'm gonna keep doing mine. 
But another thing, you know what I'm saying? Of course, you see that jersey right there. Shouts out to the big cuzzo. Now, I didn't know so many people on Facebook playing professional football. It fucked me up. I didn't know the NFL had that many teams and had that many roster slots. And I didn't know ESPN hired so many analysts to analyze games and be actually critiquing someone's efforts out there on their field. I'm going to tell y'all like this. Everybody going to fuck up. Everybody going to make mistakes in the game. Now, when you when you uh, get the talent and the power and the blessing to step out on that NFL field and guard uh, big time receivers and shit, let me know. I'll get you an agent with, get you signed up and everything. But until then, shut the fuck up. Keep all that hating to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Now, you might be mad that you don't have this or that, or you weren't blessed with these talents. But you know, it is. You don't have to let me know about it, okay? You know what I'm saying? If you want to hate on a nigga, do it to his face. Don't do the slick dissing shit. All right? Just because my cousin out there, yeah, he he, he made a couple bad plays, but I'm still rocking with him. We still rocking with it 100. But all these niggas, niggas gonna call me and text me who ain't never called or text me before with some good until some bad shit happen. Now when good shit going on, my phone don't work. It's dead to the world. Oh man, when Jose hustle fuck up, or when his cousins or and anybody related to him fuck up. Oh man, let's let's, let's hit this nigga up. Nah, it's not what's popping in the streets. It's not what's shaking in the streets. It's not doing nothing in these streets. So I'm gonna tell you like this. Thanks for the hating. It's continuous motivation. Until then, y'all stay tuned in to Jose Hustle TV. But before I go, I got some shout outs to give. You know what I'm saying? Big shouts out to my parents, my mom and dad, and all that good shit. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to the Tennessee State Hoop Squad, men's basketball, Jake Coach uh, Coop, JC. I see y'all boys, Will P. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing a documentary on y'all, so y'all stay tuned for that. Shouts out to Chris's Unlimited Barbershop. They keep me trimmed up. And like I said, I'm going Grizzly Bay this summer. I mean, ooh, run that back. Run that back. It is winter. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to Two Wells Graphic Design. They get me, get, get me right for JoseHustle.com. Y'all stay tuned in for that. Soul in, Sports Central, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? All the supporters of Jose Hustle. We still got the Jose Hustle shirts popping off for the 10 spot. Popping off for the 10 spot. So get yours now. Tuskegee University Homecoming coming up. Go ahead and get fresh for it. Fresh as you're going to ever get for $10. But look, I ain't got that much time. I'm going to let y'all go. Y'all now know what's not shaking in the streets. If you're ready for part two, you let me know. Until then, Jose Hustle. God bless.